G'day guys, Chris here from Bogus Prospecting. Uh, we're going straight back out to the spot uh, that I found that really nice picker and all that little chunky gold on the corner. I've got the high banker, I've got the dog, and we are going to absolutely smash this out. I hope it's a big lead. Um, I've tested it and it goes at least two foot downstream and, and all the way across it with the same amount of gold. I don't know how far upstream it goes, so we're going to do some test pans and then we're going to put the high bank. Right. Been here for about 20 minutes, just got all the gear out of the car um, and I've been doing my test pans to figure out exactly how far up and down the creek it goes. I have gold from here uh, and it comes up both sides of the creek, even in the middle. I've tested here and here as well, um, and there's still good gold all the way up to here. Uh, and now I've just taken one out from a spot just here, and I'm going to see if there's gold there. Rightio, so this is that last pan that I was just testing out the stream. If there's gold here, I'll do more tests, uh, but this should tell us how far up it's going, and it's dropped right off. So there's still a lot of specks there, but they're all micro. Um, and that just means that the big chunky gold that I want is lower than that point. We've been here for about 20 minutes and we're just doing a quick test pan to make sure that we're still on the gold and not wasting our time. Oh, there we go. Still got gold. It's a bit less than what it was, but that is okay. I've just had some major freaking pump issues. That's my ideal water speed right there. And oh, it was a nightmare. Anyway, it's fixed. Back to digging. Just before I start up again, uh, I'm doing a test pan to make sure the gold is still here. Like I keep saying, it has petered off a lot compared to my first pans, but there's still my minimum there. I'm after five specs per pan. I say big specs, so one, two, three, four, and then you got two like average little bits and a ton of micro there. So it's still worth it. It's definitely all still here. All of that out. Check out just how deep this hole is. Every time I put a shovel through the sluice, I'm thinking five more specs, ten more specs, spec, spec, specs. Go, go, go. Keeps you motivated to dig through some rock solid bullshit clay. Ugh, I'm running out of daylight too. Gotta get that gold. <laughs> So I've done a bit more test panning and my uh, spec pound has dropped quite considerably down to about one spec per pan. Um, so I am going to clean out the mats and just see what I've got and then I'll do a little bit more test panning and see if it's worth continuing. I really hope there's a nugget, we all hope there's a nugget, but um, some good sized bits of gold and I'm, whoa, man, it would be sweet to get pickers and nuggets. I, I've already pulled one off the surface so there's a chance that there's going to be more. Alright, let's clean it out. This is the last hour and 10 minutes of my life in this pan and we're about to find out how profitable it was. Alright. Can't see too much just yet. Oh, there we go. Jeez, that's looking alright. I hope you can see that. I'll just tilt you down a bit more. Hour and 10 minutes. I can, I can definitely live with that. And I got my picker. I did. That's a nice little picker. How good. All right. So you got a couple of pickers like that in there. One there, one there. Only a couple of shotgun pellets, but I haven't hit bedrock or anything. So there you go. Look at that color. That's nice.
Well, ladies and gents, after doing several more chest pans, I decided that it was not worth running the sluice anymore. We dropped down to the maximum of maybe three or four micro specs uh, in a pan and maybe one or two good bits. And, you know, that would add up over time, but not worth burning petrol, something better off for the river sluice. I've had a blast today. It was such a good little spot. We ended up sluicing for about an hour and 15 minutes uh, and with about a 15 minute oops with the um, pump <laughs> but now we're sorted so I guess you want to see the gold and what we got here it comes well that's my hour and 15 minutes work just there that's not too shabby I'm looking at that and thinking it's probably just under a gram a um, couple of nice little pickers here uh, so we got that one there that one there they're both really nice um, they don't weigh much they're a bit curly so they're not exactly um uh, weighty pickers and you know you're getting some good sized chunky coarse gold there which I think is absolutely fantastic. Well, like always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to hit the like button um, on this video and subscribe to the channel if you loved it. Uh, and check out the rest of our videos as well because we've got plenty out there. And I hope to catch you out here sometime.